Folks, today I want to talk about four-way circuits. I want to explain what is a four-way circuit. A four-way circuit is where you could turn lights on in multiple areas. We're doing a church here today, and we're going to turn uh, a switch on from that door all the way to the fellowship hall over here, and to the back door, and to the sound room. We're going to turn on the lights in the sanctuary in multiple directions. What is a four-way circuit? A four-way circuit is where you have four-way switches in the middle and you have three ways on each end. What do you have to have to have a three-way switch? According to the National Electric Code, you have to have a neutral in each box. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull a three-wire on one end with the switch leg and you're gonna pull a three-wire on the other end of the circuit with the power. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how to wire those in. With the four-way circuit, you have to have a line and a load side. It's just basically one big line going all the way through. And I've got a demonstration here on the table to explain how this works. One thing I want to point out to you is before you work on anything, make sure you test a circuit and there's no power because it's very dangerous. I use this climb tool and it shows me where I've got power or not. And I'll just demonstrate here. See that hot wire? So this is hot. And if you look at this, it says non-contact voltage. What we're measuring is induction current, just, just a side note. So a four-way circuit, what I could do is I could turn it on by the front door if I wanted to, and I could turn it back on at the sound room. I can turn it back off the fellowship hall. I can turn it back off over here. I can turn it here, turn it on, and turn it back on. You see what I'm getting at is I can go in any direction, in any switch, and, and have control of the lighting circle, no matter where I go. So what I want to do is explain to you how we're doing this. I'm going to turn these over, and they do have power on them. And I want you to see how we've done this. Okay, now I want you to come here and look at this. This, this here is a three-way circuit. You, you see that black wire here? You have a common. Common is going to be from your sw switch leg, which is your lighting wire. And now on this end, it would be the power source. That's why I got this breaker here. So you would have power coming in from a power source. And this is a square DQO breaker, by the way. This is the breakers that I like using. As far as I'm concerned, they're the best brand on the market. So I just got this laying here. Assuming that you understand you're going to have a power source, and the switch leg from the power will go on the common on this switch. Okay? So we can take it from here. We have brass here. We're going to take these. The wire that's on the, now this is important. So you've got your black wire on the common side. And it's going to go to the black wire on the four way. This is the line side. Okay. You've got your red wire, which is the brass screw over here. And it's going to go to this black wire here, uh, black screw here. See how I've got them tied together this way? And I've got them tied together this way. Now this is load side. So I'm coming out from my power source. Line side coming, load going out to here, to the line side at this switch. I'm making this a little more complicated because I've got two four-way switches in this circuit. I'm just giving you a full detail of how this works. So now I came in line side here, same thing, take the red wire straight across. And I've got my black wire coming from what would be underneath the common here, over here. Okay, now I'm coming load side here. I'm coming to the, I'm bringing my black wire underneath the common here. Here's my switch leg once again. And here is my other traveler. Now I want you to just point out, we grounded these. It's very important that you ground everything because these are metal switches. And they're going into metal boxes because this is a commercial building. So grounds are always important. They're, they're your best friend. And here's a little diagram. I just want you to see this. Look at this diagram. It actually shows you in detail. I even drew black and I drew the, uh, put the number uh, question red on it. So he would understand how this works. Okay. So what we done to keep it straight as we were wiring 
the um, switches we, we taped everything. Come here, I want to show you this. So these wires here are coming from the front door. This will be line side of my 40 switch. These wires here are going to the back door. That will be load side coming out of here, but it'll be line side coming over there. What I'm trying to tell you here is you've got to pay attention how you pull your wires and you got to understand what is line and load on these switches. Follow your diagrams on these switches because whether you have Levington, whether you have Pass and Seymour, or you have Hubble, there's other switches on the market. You have to look at their diagram and understand how this works. It's important that you understand line and load side, and it's important that you have power on one end and uh, switch leg on the other. I believe that pretty well handles everything. If you have any questions, please send me a comment, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and let me know if I can do anything for you. You have a great day, and thank you for watching.